Wow, I love this song. Did you listen to what the lyrics are about? They're about flowers. Have you ever looked really closely at a flower? Noticed all the details that are really inside of it? When you do that, it can help you draw the flower and show off how beautiful they really are. We're going to use a type of drawing called contour drawing. Contour drawing helps us really notice and draw what we see. When we do contour drawing, we use our eyes to look closely and then we draw the outside edges and the most important lines. So, we're going to draw the outside edges and the most important lines. So, what supplies are we going to need? Well, you're going to need a flower, you're going to need a pencil, an eraser is good, and you're going to want some paper. Thicker paper is better, like watercolor or cardstock. But if you don't have that, photocopy paper will work too. You just want to be a little more careful with it when we get to the color stage. So, you're also going to want three markers, red, yellow, and blue. You're going to want these to be washable. You're also going to want a sharpie that is not washable that's something that is permanent and you're gonna need something to paint with a tiny bit of water and a paintbrush or that's not a paintbrush it's a q-tip that works too so let's check and see do these colors work are they washable let me make some marks and see so test out the colors you want to do to see if they work and see if how they work on the paper that you're using. It can be just a scrap paper that you use and oh wow those blend together. When I let them sit on just regular photocopy paper it takes a little while but they start to bleed and blend even more but also it goes right through the paper so make sure you have something underneath and also Make sure that you're very careful with it while it's drying. When you're done painting, just let it sit until the paper is 100% dry, then you'll be ready to go. So now we're going to draw this and we're going to use contour drawing, which means we're going to look for the outside edges and the most important lines. With that, we're going to use our finger to trace the lines that we see. Look at your flower and notice the lines that make up your flower. If you don't have one, look at this one here. My finger is tracing the lines that I see and noticing how the petals have these little wiggles here and that that one overlaps there. And here we've got the pistol coming out. We've got the stamen and the stigma there. And look at the one, two, three, four, five little dots there. Look at the zigzags that are on the leaves. Keep noticing what you see in your flower. There's so many lines. I notice these important lines that are inside the petals coming out like that. Keep noticing, find some other details. And so that gets me ready for drawing. I'm going to look at this and draw it here. Those outside edges and those most important lines. Okay, we're going to draw this hibiscus as large as the paper's going to let us. And there's an important line we're going to start with. We're going to start with the pistol. See this interesting line right here? That's going to come from the center of our paper and it's going to go nice diagonal up and it's going to be two lines that come closer together and do you see those five balls at the end the stigma i'm going to do one two three four five and those are going to connect together right there and so now I'm going to put in the stamen, all those little dots 
there and then they connect with little lines and if I have that I'm ready for the petals. The petals all come from the base of the pistil down in here. They come out from there but some of them you can't quite see but I do see this curve here. Oops don't touch it while you're drawing it and that curve I see it goes just like this and then I'm looking at it closely. I see it goes down and I see that it has this wonderful wiggly line that comes up and I have to connect back to where I started. There we go. Now I'm going to do the next petal. I'm going to do this one. I see it connects to that one right about here. And I'm looking at what sort of wiggles it has. Ooh, it has some good wiggles. I'm following this with my eyeball but drawing what I see. I see those wiggles and then I see that it curves back and it curves down to that pistol. There we go. I see the next one starts over here. You see that? And I see that it's got a nice curve and then it comes back in there. And then the next petal starts here and if you're drawing your own flower, it's probably very different. Even if it's a hibiscus, every hibiscus is different. And even if you're drawing this one, yours is going to come out differently. But it's still going to be amazing. And so here's this last petal. I see that it kind of, ooh, I do see it comes out there. There's a little bit there. And then it's going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle down like that. Now, what other lines do you see in this hibiscus? Do you see those important lines inside the petals? I'm going to put some of those on. They help us know that those petals are curved. Ooh, I see some on every petal, just a couple. Now, we have some extra space around. Let's put some leaves in. I see that there's a stem. The stem is going to always be right in line with the pistil down here. And I'm going to have the leaf come out. And the leaf, I always draw the middle vein of the leaf first. And then if I look at hibiscus leaves, they like having zigzags. This one, some of them are a little soft zigzags, but then it goes to the point. And over here, Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Oh, I don't want to go over the petal. I'm going to stop and then start again over here. Ooh, and there's some other veins I'll put in there. And I'll put a leaf on this side. Middle vein. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. And zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. And the veins. And I'll do that last little leaf there. It's baby leaf. And you have an amazing hibiscus. Next, we are going to sharpie it. And so I'm going to go over all those lines. Go over them carefully. Make sure that you're using your eyes to look closely and go on the lines. Time to erase. And now, ladies and gentlemen, what you have all been waiting for, we are going to paint with markers. We're going to use our primary colors. We have red or magenta, yellow, and blue. With these three colors, we can paint a whole rainbow. And so I am going to take this color and I am going to trace my black lines over here on the edge. I'm going to trace there. I'm inside the flower. And I don't need to color everything in because when I paint, everything's going to get colored in. But first, I just want to add 
some color. And so we're going to do that with lines. And you know what? This hibiscus is beautiful. It's red, but let's make this a rainbow hibiscus. Sound good? I think a rainbow hibiscus would be so much fun. So I have some red there. I'm going to do a couple extra lines in that same direction that I saw all the lines on the petals. All those lines are coming from the center out. Even if they don't start at the center, that's the direction they're going in. And now the same with yellow, going over the lines and adding more. Keep going around the petals in the same way. Find those spots that need some marker. Remember, you're not filling it in. And then some blue. Make sure there's enough blue to make it really amazing in the center. And then we're going to paint. This next step is fun. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to get it wet with water. And then let's paint the rainbow got the blue and I'm gonna take that blue I'm gonna take it over here <gasps> look at that green now remember be gentle with your q-tip or paint brush your paper might be thin and so go stroke 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 and then once an area is wet just let it be the colors might continue to flow anyways and if it's a q-tip guess what there you can use the other side when one side gets dirty and just keep working on making those colors flow see if you can tell the red where you want it to flow and sometimes it might do its own thing but go with the beauty that you see and make that flower amazing amazing you know what we've got to do the leaves though but I don't have a green but you know what we can make one and even if you have a green marker try it out this way it's so neat Let's paint it again. Get that Q-tip, spread the water carefully. Oops, fix that. And make those blue and yellow marks come together. And it might take a little while. And remember, use your Q-tip carefully. And when it is done, let the paper stay where it is to dry. Look at all those colors you made just with these three markers. Amazing. What? sort of flower are you going to draw and turn into an incredible rainbow? I cannot your name, not